The term viral has taken on a whole new meaning in recent years. And with this novel coronavirus pandemic, we have a stark reminder of where that term came from and why. You may have seen my previous video talking about the fine line between faith and negligence. Now I want to take a brief moment to talk about something else that I was thinking about a lot while in isolation with COVID-19. According to best available evidence, the virus that's causing this pandemic transferred from animals to humans in the second half of November 2019. Think about what that means for a second. In just four months, this virus went from infecting one person who got it somehow from an animal to crossing the globe, killing thousands of people, infecting at the very least hundreds of thousands and has completely decimated the global economy. Four months ago, this started with one person. Going viral means growing exponentially because that's what viruses do. It's estimated that every person who gets this passes it on to about three other people. That means it goes from one person to four to 16 to 64 to 256. And by the fifth cycle of spreading, it's gone from one person to over a thousand and then 4,000 and 16,000, etc. This is where the term going viral came from. It means spreading exponentially. Now I wanna talk about a different example of going viral. You wake up one morning, once all of these social distancing requirements are history, you get up, you say your morning blessings, you get into a good place, you drink your coffee, you head up the street in the morning and you pass someone on the street and because you've started your day well and you're in a good place, you give them a warm smile and wish them a genuine good morning. Now, little do you know that that person actually got their day off to a really rough start and was in a very bad place. But when you looked into their eyes as you passed them on the street and wished them a genuine good morning and gave them a warm smile, you picked them up and got them into a better place. Now, just imagine that this person is a preschool teacher on their way to spend six hours taking care of a group of 16 young children. And because of your warm words and genuine smile, this preschool teacher is now on their way to the classroom, ready and equipped to take care of those children's needs and to give them the warmth and love and security that they need. And because of your warm words and smile in the morning, those 16 children are now gonna go home six hours later to their mothers content and loved and happy. And when their mothers open the door and are overcome with a sense of relief when they see that their child is coming home in a good place and feeling happy and content, they are gonna feel happy and content. And when the older siblings in those families come home from school a couple hours later and find their mothers happy and content and able to take care of their needs because the younger child's needs were taken care of because of your smile and warm words in the morning, you have just changed the rest of the day for all of those older children as well. And then when they go after dinner and get on their phones and talk and WhatsApp with their friends and they are in a good mood and have a positive influence over their friends because they're in a good mood because of your smile in the morning, the warm words and genuine smile that you gave to someone in the morning that you long forgot about have just changed the trajectory of this day for maybe a hundred other people. And there's another thing that's very important that this example also has in common with the novel coronavirus that's causing this pandemic. One of the things that makes this virus so uniquely dangerous is the fact that people could be carrying it for days without feeling any symptoms, without even knowing, and could be passing it on to others. So by the time someone has any symptoms and is even aware of the fact that they have the virus, they may have already started transmission towards dozens of other people downstream. And those warm words and that genuine smile that you gave to that person in the morning are the same. You forgot about them. You don't realize that they've had an impact on someone else. You've gone about your day, but little do you know you had an impact on that preschool teacher who went on to have an impact on those 16 children and then the 16 mothers and then the dozens of older siblings, etc., etc. You have no idea that any of this is even happening, but it's happening and it's real. Don't ever assume that the positive effect of something you do is limited to the immediate impact that you're aware of because everything we do can set off an entire chain reaction downstream that we will never know about, but it doesn't make it less real. Every word that we speak, every action that we take could be setting off a chain reaction that we'll never know about. So let's plant seeds, let's speak positive words, let's do the right things, let's help people, let's do mitzvahs, because we never know how far those things can reach across the globe and how many people's lives they may change. Let's plant positive seeds so that they can go viral and spread exponentially.